Okay, hey guys, so today I'll be showing you my video on how to change the hard drive in your PS4 and the way to back up your data so you can use it. Again, so first what you're going to want to do is go to your settings and then scroll all the way down to system. Once you get there, you're going to want to open that up and then go down to backup and restore. And then you click up on backup. And then it'll calculate how much you need to back it up. So like how much space you need on an external drive. So for a normal PlayStation, it's a 500 gigabyte external drive will be enough. But um, if you had a bigger drive in there, then you might need a terabyte. -er. Depends. So um, once it's done calculating, it will give you the option for what you want to save. So I saved everything with mine and then you press next. Um, unfortunately, I had already done this, so I can't show you this part again. And the video of it backing up. I didn't bother recording because it would take too long but that's for that part and now I'll go to the PlayStation and show you how to switch the hard drive out after you've backed that up. Alright guys so over at the PlayStation the first thing you're going to want to do is remove this cover here as you can see. You just pop it out by pushing it away, just pop it, you probably feel it pop twice and then you just remove it, lift it up and then place it wherever you need it. Don't lose it because you're going to need it again. Then you're going to want to remove this screw over here. You can see, I hope you can see, it's got all the PlayStation like buttons on it, if that makes sense. <laughs> you need a Phillips head screwdriver, it'll fit in there. And um, yeah, just unscrew that and take it out. Then I want to place that somewhere where you won't lose it. And then you should be able to slide the hard drive out like so. Now there's four screws holding the hard drive in place. So what you're going to want to do is get your drive that you want to replace it. And then you're going to want to undo the screws. So when it's done you should be able to slide it out with the case and then you just get the new one and place it in like so. I recommend doing this screw here first because it's the hardest one to do since you've got the flap in the way. you're done you should be able to slide it back in make sure it's all tight and then just place it back into the tray slide it in and then you're going to want to get the screw that you took out first and plug and, and so screw that one back in as well the one with the playstation symbols on it then just get the case then you slid off at the start place that back on it pretty much slides in exactly how you took it out except the opposite direction and you're done now we'll go back to the ps4 for the next part hey guys so unfortunately it would not allow me to record this with my pvr so i just did it with my computer i mean with my phone so what you're going to need to do is grab your ps4 controller and plug it in via the cable after you've plugged in the ps4 and then make sure you have a firmware of 3.11 or, or above or whatever firmware it asks you for depending on what time or like date it is and the latest version is so you're gonna have to download that to a USB and have it in the PlayStation when you do this and then um yeah it'll start preparing the PlayStation to install that software and once it's done it'll install it for you and then it'll be like a fresh install you go to your XMB or whatever they call it on this and um you will have to restore your data but we'll show you that later
so now that you're back on the PS4's home screen you're going to want to go to settings to see the new available space that you've put in there just to make sure you know some people like to check so as you can see since I put a 2 terabyte drive I have all that free space in mine and um yeah so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to the settings menu so that we can restore the backup previously made before we commence these operations so you're going to want to scroll all the way down to system again and then you're going to want to go to backup and restore and then just go restore click on the backup you made or if your hard drive wasn't plugged in plug it back in and then click on the backup and then just follow the on screen prompts and it'll restart and it'll start backing up uh, so restoring your system so once that's complete your system should be the way it was before and um that's it really hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to rate comment and subscribe for more and um have a nice day guys